Hey guys, W. Thomas here from the Coin Alley, bringing you another exciting video. Do you want to save on gas? No, I'm not talking about the gas you put in your car. I'm talking about Ethereum gas. When it comes to gas, gas is the internal pricing for running a transaction or contract on the Ethereum network. So when you send a transaction on Ether, using Ethereum, depending on the wallet that you use, you can set your price for gas. Now, this website I'm about to share with you, their goal is to increase the transparency of gas prices. Overall, what they're hoping is that you, the end user, will always get the best price for gas. So the website is F gasstation.info and I'll uh, leave a link to this website in the comment section of this video. What you're looking for on this website is right down here that says uh, top 10 miners by blocked mind. Right here gives you the average lowest gas price or gigaway that was accepted by miners within the last 48 hours. So with this information, you can decide how much you would like to assign to your transaction. So based on this information here, we're looking at four gigaway. And statistically, more than 45% of miners are accepting for gigaway for transactions. If you use a wallet like my Ethereum wallet, in the very bottom right hand corner, there is a slider. It could be as low as one or as much as 50. This means the difference between paying as little as three cents or as much as two, three, or more dollars for your transaction. So if I was going to send someone some Ether, I would log into my uh, wallet. If I'm using a, uh, a hardware wallet or if I'm using private keys, I will unlock the wallet. And then before sending the transaction, I would adjust the slider. Based on the information here, I would select four gigaway. Now, if you do participate in ICOs or any other type of transactions with Ether, you will want to make sure that you change this information back to the appropriate gas price. This way, there's no delays to your transaction. I hope you find this information helpful. If you do find the information helpful, if you do like my videos, uh, by all means, please click the thumbs up. If you have questions, comments, please drop a comment down in the comment section. If you don't like the video, by all means, click the thumbs down, but please leave me some constructive feedback on how I can improve my future videos. All right, guys, until the next video, take care.